The Aquamax start pump range is specifically designed to power filtration systems and waterfalls or watercourses. The strainer has a large surface area, giving longer maintenance periods. The pumps are capable of pumping solid particles of up to 8 mm in diameter, ideal for removing these particles from the pond and passing them to an external filter system. The solids' handling capabilities help to ensure exceptionally low maintenance requirements on the Aquamax start pumps. The Aquamax start range can be used submersed in the pond or dry installed below the water surface level, with the exception of the Aquamax 2000, which can only be used submersed. The pumps are supplied with a swivel ball joint, which facilitates easy hose connection and placement in the pond. OASA grants a five-year request guarantee on the range for added peace of mind. Installation. Firstly, remove all packaging and read the instruction manual carefully to familiarize yourself with the product and the accessories. Cut down the stepped hose tail to the correct size depending on the hose diameter you are using. Push the hose tail through the retaining nut. Then push onto the hose and secure with a hose clip. Insert the white flat gasket into the retaining nut, then screw onto the ball joint. Insert the other flat gasket into the ball joint retaining nut, then screw onto the pump inlet. Rotate the ball joint so that the hose will be rooted correctly in the pond. Then carefully place the Aquamax into the pond in the desired position. Ensure the hose is connected to a filter if required or to the top of a waterfall. Connect the power supply and check for operation. Check for leaks at the filter or top of the waterfall to avoid any water loss. Always consult a qualified electrician when installing any electrical equipment in your garden. And remember to disconnect the power supply before entering the water or performing any maintenance tasks on your pond and pond equipment. Maintenance. Before performing any maintenance on your pond equipment, Always disconnect the power supply prior to commencing any work. Carefully remove the Aquamax from the water, taking care not to pull the electrical cable. Unscrew the ball joint from the front of the pump, then place the pump on a flat, clean surface. Remove the screw from the rear of the strainer casing, depress the retaining clamps at the front and rear of the strainer casing, and open the casing. Remove the pump from the casing and clean the casing with clean water and a soft brush. Clean the impeller vanes with clean water and a soft brush. And check the impeller spins freely. Remove any blockages. Replace the pump in the casing and close the casing ensuring the cable is routed correctly. Replace the screw into the rear of the casing. Then reconnect the ball joint to the pump outlet. Place the pump in the pond, then connect the power supply and check for operation.